Next topic, chilled water plant. It is extensively used as a secondary refrigerant in larger commercial, institutional and industrial premises to make cooling available over a large area. Okay. This refrigeration machine got applied this chilled water plant to produce the chilled water. So chiller. It consists of compressor, evaporator and the condenser packaged as a single unit system. The condensing medium may be water or outdoor air. Air cooled chillers are designed for outdoor installation and have large fans to force outdoor air over the condenser coil for heat rejection. Okay, the evaporator consists of a shell and tube heat exchangers with refrigerant in the shell and water in the tubes. Figure shows this, this is the condenser of the material, this is the compressor motor and this compressor motor, this is the motor for changing this energy transfer, this is the evaporating this uh, hot water. This one packaged chilled water plant, uh, school system education building, institutional for our uh, 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 pipeline connection. A tap using, this one, uh, one, one tap for hot water, one tap for cold water, another tap for normal water, okay, or hospitality. This are um, more than people's uh, arranged in, in the uh, any places. Uh, for another one, uh, cinema theater, okay, auditorium, and then uh, uh, showrooms inside. This was a chilled water plant applied. It's a condenser, okay, and then um, compressor motor. Some pressure, low pressure is applied. The heat energy transfer to the hot end to the cold end. Okay, this. Uh, uh, this is a pipeline, a chilled water plant pipeline, water for flowing it, the hot energy reducing it, the cooling this uh, um, material, the cooling the air and compressor cooling air inside this the tube, okay, this outlet for hot air for evaporated, only for uh, fresh water, cold water only, okay, flow this outside. And then uh, you go to temperature bath is given where temperature changing it lowest to the highest temperatures for uh, temperature fixed automatically in this refrigerant uh, purposes this uh, regulator using this uh, temperature bath wise okay, where, uh, temperature bath wise you go to different uh, water for uh, producing it hot water cold water normal water this is the purposes the pipeline wise you go to um, release this outside. It's a fan coil unit. A fan coil unit consists of a heat exchanger in which water is circulated and a fan assembly incorporating a filter and controls designed for wall perimeter units. Already you know more than people identify the fan coil units. This is one of the heat exchanger uh, principle for Akbar. The water is circulated, circulated inside the pipeline and then fan coil system applied uh, automatically. This uh, room or ceilings are okay, uh, cooling inside the uh, purposes. This is uh, a wall mounted, this is uh, a ceiling. Okay, this is uh, a fan coil system. This units are for uh, fitting. Okay. Automatically, uh, we have the feeling inside this uh, room. Okay, uh, your body cooling it. And then another one, uh, this uh, air into the center and uh, discharging the periphery. The heating elements and electric hot water or steam can be included. You have to reduce the heat energy. This is a chill, one of the chilled water plant. Uh, principle applied the number of air handling unit each size for a suitable zone with the conditions throughout the zone can be satisfied by the outlet air from the unit. Okay, this offers a range of comfort conditions within the space with the units serving rooms 
are a part of a room. Okay. So this are comfort conditions within the space occupied this fan coil units. And then um, this uh, temperature is uh, low. Okay, room temperature, compare that room temperature, but temperature is uh, low. So we go to heat energy removed by the coil systems. This is a condensate drain. The multi-speed fans are usually applied. This noise level are reduced. Time settings are alerted automatically. This is a fan coil unit. So you go to reduce the heat energy. This is a cooling air for produce this outside. Uh, you see this the figure shows this. This is a top layer for discharge grill. This is a heater assembly, fan assembly, air inlet grill, replacement filter, cool heat exchanger, drain pane. Okay, this are wall mounted. This is a grill discharge grill where heat energy so far discharging it. This is a heater assembly with fan coil rotated. This is a heat energy reducing it. This was cooler using this is a air inlet. This is a gap. This is a window gap is air for inside it. This is a cooling this material replacement for this uh, dust air filter. This uh, this replacement filter for pure fresh air inside this uh, heat exchanger. Heat exchangers produce this uh, cooling energy. This is a fan coil rotated and this uh, uh, cooling uh, energy for increasing it. We have to use the, this. Uh, uh, this for fan coil system using the room inside for cooling purposes analyzed and then um, the drain pan were decreasing reduce the heat energy this are uh, ceiling ceiling mounted this is side wall mounted this is ceiling mounted this diagram this are fan coil rotated okay uh, this is suspected ceiling or inside for um, compressor Okay, come this fan coil rotator. Okay, and then evaporator. Evaporator this uh, energies. Okay, heat energy releasing it and then uh, cooling energy for inside it. Uh, air pressure, cooling air for inside it. So we were sealing for producing this uh, cooling air. So all uh, people saw analyzed it, cooling this uh, room. The advantages of fan coil systems, the individual control for zone or office, including heating in some zones and cooling in others. Relativity, low cost of standard units, simple control system, built it standby capacity, where several units are located in one zone. Disadvantages of fan coil system, this is a limited flexibility, this is a standard units, all operating parameters fixed by manufacturer and fresh air input so that advantages of free cooling cannot be taken okay but not more than uh, not more than uh, fresh air for inside it limited uh, fresh air only inside the fan coil system but this far uh, cannot be taken this uh, fan coil system so limited ability to control air distribution and the next water piping this water piping for more than uh, companies used uh, and then uh, this are uh, cheapest and then easily applied this uh, industrial field the pipe are tubes applied this a made up of polyvinyl chloride steel cast iron or copper that carry pressurized and treated fresh water to buildings as well as inside the buildings the fresh water inside the buildings as well as you go to feeling inside a building for cooling it and then hydronics is the use of liquid the heat transfer medium in heating and the cooling systems okay both the chilled and the heat water purpose chilled water plant and fan coil system both for adapted and these are both the heating and air conditioning systems principle are um, provided and with the hot air heats the cold coil of the air conditioner it not only cools the air tight suffuses the moisture out of the air if the buildings is full of hot humidity air the air conditioner will condense the excess of water vapor into liquid water that can be drained outside 
the water drips from the loop cooling coil into the channels that should be angled toward the back of the unit the air conditioner is not dripping it may not properly be doing its job of dehumidifying the room okay but the air conditioner system this was not uses properly not uses okay and then next cooling load so total heat required to be removed from the space in order to bring it to the desired temperature by air conditioning and refrigeration equipment okay but total amount of heat energy removed from the space okay that is a this load estimation to determine the size of the air containing and refrigeration equipment that is required to maintain inside the conditions during periods of maximum outside temperatures the design load is based on inside and outside design conditions and it is the air conditioning and refrigeration equipment to provide satisfactory inside conditions so it is the rate at which the sensible and latent heat must be removed from the space to maintain a constant space dry bulb air temperature and humidity the sensible heat into the space okay, that causes its the air temperature to rise while latent heat is associated with the rise the moisture content in the space okay for the all members were cooling load applied this purposes for uh, to determine the size of the air conditioning systems you can design load is based on the inside and outside design conditions Thank you. Thank you one and all.